I don't know about you, but the last several weeks I've heard a lot of people prognosticating uh, about the future, what the results of the pandemic are going to have. Uh, one blog in particular is always referring to a futurologist and learning what he has to say. I must say that I'm old enough now and I've experienced enough that I pretty much don't believe futurologists and I pretty much don't believe prognosticators. They're usually wrong. In fact, I think of them kind of like I do long-term weather forecasts. I'm pretty skeptical when someone makes a long-range uh, weather forecaster, and I kind of take a let's wait and see kind of attitude. But rather than focusing on the future, it seems to me that followers of Jesus need to be more engaged and focused on the present. And for this, I want to turn to Paul's first letter to the Thessalonian church, the last chapter, chapter 5, um, in just a few of the last verses, reads this way, starting in uh, verse 16. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances. The very short imperatives, but I want to focus on the third imperative, give thanks in all circumstances. Hmm, really? Give thanks in all circumstances? Isn't that a little counterintuitive? What, what, is, what could Paul possibly mean by that? Well, I think the key to understanding that giving thanks in all things is understanding the preposition, in. Paul is not saying give thanks for all circumstances, but he's saying give thanks in all circumstances. It's a big difference. What's the difference? There are a lot of bad things that can happen, and so we don't give thanks for the bad circumstances, but by giving thanks in the circumstances, we're showing God that we really trust him. We're putting our confidence, our hope, and faith in this God who promises to be with us no, no matter what happens. He promises to be with us through thick and thin. And he promises not only to be with us, but even in the midst of dire circumstances, God can bring out good. I know in my own life, the times I've grown most in my faith are going through difficult circumstances. If you were able to hear any of the series that we had in the first part of the Emmanuel series, in the first part of um, the, the 2020, you heard testimonies from people who were really struggling, struggled through hard circumstances. And, and yet they were able to say that as they look back, that God was present, that God did work in their lives. And so in this time of uh, uncertainty, in the time where our lives have been uh, turned upside down, I think the word of Paul to us is give thanks. What, what if as families you really listed the things you're thankful for in the midst of the pandemic? What are the things that uh, that you're thankful for? Uh, how do you see God working in your life? So that rather than just focusing on the things that we can't do, we are able to see God working and really praise him for that. So God is calling us in these circumstances to give thanks, to give thanks to him, trusting that he will be present and work good in our lives. Amen.